Welcome back, Immortals. It is Tang Top Tuesday. We'd also ask you if you could tag a friend. So Tang Top Tuesday, tag your friends. Um, we got some good stuff for you today. Um, it's Coach Tommy Palms joined by Coach Marisa and Coach Gav. We're going to have an awesome workout as always. Um, before we start, let's get into our normal routine. We're going to start with that warm up. So uh, for today, we're going to start with some inchworms. So I want you to bring your feet to a wider stance, okay? And from here, you're going to push your hips and butt back. Walk your hands out to the plank position. When you get here, you're just going to walk them on back. And we're just going to keep doing that. Um, if you did yesterday's AFIT workout, I don't know about you, but my back is blown up in a good way. Um, very, very sore for the first time in a while. Um, so right now I'm just trying to get my hamstrings nice and loose as well for you guys. Hopefully alleviate some back pain or soreness rather. Couple more reps. All right, very good. Okay, from here, we're gonna come down back to the plank position. Okay, we're just gonna do some shoulder taps and we're gonna rotate opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Okay, try not to lean or sway to one side. Keep your shoulders square and nice light tap. Good, a few more reps. And from here, we're gonna go to some toe touches. So you'll see me, I'm gonna go opposite hand, opposite foot. So we're gonna pause in the plank Opposite hand, opposite foot. Reaching as far back as you can. Good, stand it on up, okay? Shake out the arms real fast. We just hung out and plank a lot. We're gonna repeat that again. This time, if you can bring your feet a little bit closer for the inchworms, that's great, but the key is to keep them straight. So if you bring your feet in, you have to bend, don't do that, all right? So here we go, back to those inchworms. Nice. Good, one more rep. Okay, stay down here. Okay, we're gonna go right into those shoulder taps. This time, uh -uh, same hand, same shoulder. Good, couple more reps. Okay, good, pause. Once again, we're going opposite hand, opposite foot. This time you should be able to touch that foot if you weren't last time. Couple more reps. All right, good, walk your hands to your feet and relax. All right, hope you guys are warm. We wanted to get the shoulders warm as well as the hamstrings. Um, let me get into today's workout. So, what we have for you today is a three-minute AMRAP, okay? Three burpees, six dumbbell push press, nine jumping lunge. So what's gonna happen is, in the three minutes, you're gonna do as many rounds as possible. And one round consists of three burpees, six dumbbell push press, nine jumping lunge. When you finish the jumping lunge, you go back to the burpees. Once again, we repeat this cycle as many times as we can in the three minutes. Once the three minutes is up, we're then gonna rest one minute and we're gonna repeat it for five rounds. For today's workout, you will start the next round where you previously left off. So let's say the first round you did three rounds, okay? And then you did three burpees, okay? The next round, you would start on the dumbbell push press. Instead of starting from the beginning, we just don't want you guys to uh, do too many burpees today. So now I just wanna talk um, some strategy for this workout really briefly. Um, this is a, a spin-off of what's called the benchmark workout, The Chief. Um, the whole idea behind it is intensity, um, meaning we wanna be moving really fast during these three minutes. We're cycling through, the rep scheme is very slow, I'm uh, sorry, very low, three, six, and nine. With that being said, let's push the pace from the very beginning, see how many rounds you can get and try to hold that number of rounds throughout the Entire workout. All right. So the first workout we're going to go uh, movement we're going to go over is the burpee. So let's check out Coach Maurice. 
She's going to show one real fast. Good. Okay, so for the burpee, uh, a big misconception is that it's a push-up. Um, it is by no means a push-up, all right? It's more of an aerobic movement. So what I want you to see is Maurice is going to hop her feet back, her hands come onto the floor, and her chest touches. From here, she's going to extend her arms, snake the lower back, and then hop her feet up. And then she jumps and claps to complete the rep, right? No push-up was involved there, okay? The next thing we're going to show is, let's say your knees and ankles hurt just from hopping your feet too much, okay? Check her out. She's going to step her feet back and then step her feet up. Great alternative, okay? And if jumping and clapping bothers it, no worries. Don't do that. Um, the next one we'll show is the squat thrust. Say you have a shoulder injury, okay, and going down into the bottom of that uh, the burpee bothers it. We'll just show a squat thrust. You hop your feet back, boom. It's okay. So it's the same thing, but your chest doesn't touch the floor. From here, we're going to go over the dumbbell push press, and then we'll go over the kettlebell. So for the dumbbell push press, a couple reps looks like this. Good, hold the front rack. Okay, so what you're gonna see is the back of the dumbbell is rested on her shoulder with her elbow nice and high. Okay, her feet are shoulder width apart. Okay, she's gonna dip and she's gonna pause there. In the dip, you see her knees drive out. It's a very subtle dip, okay? Not a squat. From here, she fully extends the hips, punches the ceiling. In the finishing position, her arm is fully extended and her elbow is locked out and that dumbbell is stacked on top of the shoulder. Okay, she's gonna wait for the dumbbell to come to her shoulder and then she'll go into her next rep. Good. Okay, it's a very short and explosive movement. You could rest, thank you. We're doing a total of six today, three on each arm. If you have a kettlebell at home, check out Coach Gavin really fast. He's using a heavy bell today. Okay, notice, okay, that bell is rested on the shoulder and arm. It's the same exact movement, okay, but just let it rest there. Don't try to, you know, uh, bring it off to the side or really high up on your shoulder. It should be resting right on your bicep, okay? He shows a couple reps, boom, punch, good. You can see the bell rotates a little bit as he extends, okay, that's natural. Thank you, Gav. Once again, three on each arm for a total of six. From here, we're gonna go into the jumping lunge. Today, it's a little spin on the jumping lunge. It's a reset jumping lunge. So you'll see what I mean. He's gonna do two reps. Good, so. Um, for the jumping lunge, okay, you do a lunge, and then when you hop your feet up, they come back to normal, and then you split, rather than just going back and forth, okay? So he's going to pause after his first lunge. He'll lunge, jump, pause, see how his feet reset. Now he goes into the next rep, alternates. Good. So for the jumping lunge, guys, a uh, couple things. If uh, your knees allow you to, Please go all the way to the floor. Try to get that knee to touch. If your knee bothers you going that low, just shorten the range of motion to where you can go as low as you can without pain. If jumping and switching bothers your feet, for today we'll do what's a, a stationary lunge, okay? And I want you to step backwards, okay? Good, and then switch, one, two, okay? Once again, same thing for knee issues. If lunging destroys your legs um, or knees or ankles or whatever it may be, you could always go to a squat or a step up, something low to step onto, um, whatever suits you best, okay? So uh, we're gonna get this thing going. It's time to let it rock. Once again, guys, it is a three minute AMRAP of three burpees, six dumbbell push press, three on each side, and then nine lunges. That's nine total, not nine on each leg. I know it's an odd number. Just start where you left the, start on the opposite leg the next time, all right? Three on, one off, let's get after it, guys. Oops, sorry. Once again, let's get intensity driven. Um, my goal, I think you guys can get five or six rounds for sure. All right, here we go. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Here it is. We are starting with those burpees. Good. My opinion, go slow on the burpees and push the rest. Good, we now have three push press on each side. Nice, good, nice. That's it guys, nice Gav. Right into those reset lunges. Remember, we're resetting at the top. At some point, your range of motion may increase. You can see Coach Gav, his knees are doing a lot better touching the floor right now. Um, that's just getting warm. All right, good stuff. Nice. They finished one round in about 40 seconds. So they're on pace for just about five rounds. That's exactly what I was looking for. Great transitions, okay? Transitions will be key 
to this workout going right from one movement to the next. Yeah, Gav. You can see Maurice is taking no time to put that dumbbell on the floor. She's transitioning one hand to the next. Looking good. Good, two rounds done, okay, in a minute 20. So they held that 40 second round. Okay, they have 90 seconds left in this one. Nice. To Gav, to Maurice. To Gav. That lactic acid will start to build up in those lunges as this workout goes on between the burpees and the lunges over and over again. Expect your quads to be feeling it. That's okay. Push through. Your body will adapt. We got one minute. We got one minute. Nice job. Here we go, Maurice. Yeah. The push press, guys, although you're using your shoulders to extend the arm up, it is a leg dominant movement. If you can figure out how to drive through your legs really well, okay, your arms don't have to do as much. So focus on pushing the floor away with your feet and extending at the hip violently to get that dumbbell overhead. Nice job, guys. We have 20 seconds left. Gavin's finishing up four. Marisa is at four plus. She's getting the burpees in and moving right to that dumbbell. Every rep counts. We got 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, and rest. Very great. Awesome job, guys. Way to, way to push. Coach, and, Coach Gavin Reese just set the tone right there. I hope you're trying to keep up with them. That's what we're looking for. This one minute reset is gonna be enough to get you guys moving again. All right, um, what I would do right now is definitely get a quick little sip, relax your body, relax the arms, focus on your breathing, okay? And get ready for next round. Once again, you guys will be starting where you just left off. So I saw Coach Marisa, she did uh, all six push presses, three on the left and on the right. So she's now gonna start on the jumping lunges. It's gonna be a continuous round, all right? Keep up the good work, guys. We got 20 seconds. All right, guys, we have 10 seconds in five, three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, Gavin's finishing up those push presses here. Good, nice. Something about the jumping lunge that you see Gavin's doing He's not super tight with his feet. You don't need to be, okay? You're not on a tight rope. You could spread out those feet. It normally helps out with the balance, okay? Yeah, Gav, good job. There you go, Maurice. You can see Maurice is being very patient, okay? She's dipping, waiting for that dumbbell to recede to her shoulder before she extends back up into her next rep. Yeah, Gav. There you go, Maurice. The beauty of this workout is there's really nothing stopping you, okay, except yourself. Nothing at this point, no, no movement in this workout will become where you can't push the dumbbell overhead or you can't lunge, all right? It's all you, it's up to you if you wanna keep going or not. There you go, Maurice. Good, good job, Gav. They're just full on blitzing right now. It's looking awesome. Staying very true to that 40 second rounds. Let's go, Gav. Nice. If you're doing push presses right now, something to focus on is making sure your heels are staying down when you're dipping, okay? You don't wanna be coming onto your toes. That means your weight is too far forwards. So stay planted into the floor and drive through the middle of your foot. Tim Maurice, good job. 
stick, Gav. Nice work. Nice work, Gav. Right to it. Right to it. There you go. We got one minute to go, guys. Just a minute two, a minute one. Let's go. Nice, Maurice. You can see at the top of their lunges when they reset, their hips are fully extending. Um, I think most people would be doing that at home, but just make sure you are if you're not. Yeah, Maurice, there it is. Keep on pushing. Got 40 seconds to go. There it is. Yeah. Holding on, we got 30 seconds now, guys. Violent hips, guys, violent hips. Let's go, Gav. Nice. There you go, man. Really good. Keeping the heels down, looking smooth. We got 15 seconds. Come on. Every rep counts, guys. Nice. Boom. Yeah, 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one. Yeah. All right, guys, that is two rounds in the books, okay? At this point, your heart rate is probably pretty jacked up and you're breathing heavy. That's what we're looking for. So you're doing awesome, all right? Stay calm, all right? You've been here before, all right? You gotta push through, all right? This next round is gonna get us over the hump of the workout, okay? Then we'll be on the downhill and we'll be getting it over with, all right? So keep pushing, all right? You guys are doing awesome, okay? Remember where you just left off so you could start there, okay? That's something tedious to remember, okay? Good stuff, guys. Coming up on 10 seconds here, guys. Let's get after it. All right. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. Round three. Let's get it. This is where the workout really starts. When it starts to be a little painful and you got to just keep pushing. All right. Those first two rounds, you can consider just a buy-in. Okay. Let's get it now. Let's get it now. Yeah, Maurice. Yeah, Maurice. Good. Yup. All right, we're going right from those push press and the lunges. Their transitions are still on point right now, guys. Like I said earlier, that's gonna be the key to this one. How fast you're willing to move from one movement to the next, because nothing's stopping you during these movements. Your rest is really gonna go only gonna happen in between each one. All right, so just try to keep grinding. Classic three minutes on, one minute off. Some good stuff. Yeah, there you go, Gavin. Yup. Let's go, Maurice. Like I said earlier, you see Maurice, uh, she switches at the top after she finishes her third rep and goes right into the opposite arm for those push presses. Come on now, keep grinding, keep grinding at home. Let's go. We know how you're feeling, they're feeling the same way. Come on, push through. Keep pushing. Got one minute to go. One minute to go, finishing up round three, guys. Yeah, come on. Come on. There it is. They, these two have just been moving on the lunges. Gavin is, is really moving fast on them and looking good while doing them. That's it, Maurice. Come on, come on. Right to the burpee. Burpee, Gav, ha <laughs> That's all right. Good job, my man, good job. That's when you know you're just blacking out. You don't care about what's going on, but just moving. He's looking good. Come on now, let's go, Maurice, right to it. 
Gav's pushing, 10 seconds, let's go Maurice. Yeah, nice, those are fast push presses over there. In five, three, two, one, and rest, all right. Good job. All right, so a couple things, guys. Uh, we're now approaching the fourth round. Um, something I always tell myself is like, this is when you really gotta just mentally get in gear. This is, in my opinion, the hardest point of the workout. The fourth round, you're already three rounds in, you're hurting badly, all right? And you still have another round to go after this, all right? This is when you gotta get excited because this is when you get better right now. You push through this round, all right? The fifth round goes by smooth, I guarantee you, because you're already like, I'm done after this. All right, so get after it. All right, we're gonna do this thing. Let's get excited for the fourth round. All right, we got just about 20 seconds. All right, let's go. We're over that hump. Time to finish this thing now. This is where we're getting fitter. Let's get excited. Okay, 10 seconds. This is where the changes happen. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Embrace it, guys, embrace it. Let's go, Gav. Yeah. Good, Maurice. Nice, Gavin. Something I also want to talk about is as we get tired, let's not shortchange these burpees, all right? Make sure that you're fully extending and jumping and clapping at the top. That takes time to do, okay? And because of that, if you shortchange it, you might get an extra few reps or just advantage on someone else. So I wanna make sure that, that, that you guys are home are right, fully extending those hips and clapping at the top. That's key. There you go, Maurice. Let's see it, Gav, good stuff, man. Yeah, buddy. You got it now. Um, Gavin, today, Coach Gav is using a heavy kettlebell for, okay? The 53 pounder is a heavy kettlebell, okay? It isn't like a dumbbell where you're using a 50 pounder. It's very awkward and challenging to move. You can see he's doing his best to stay unbroken and he has thus far. Um, if at home you're using a heavy dumbbell and you feel as if uh, this is starting to you know, become challenging, that's all right. I don't want you to start jerking it or go down in weight. Just take your time in between reps and do your best to get through them, because you will, all right? Keep at it. Got a minute 15 to go. We're finishing up round four, toughest round of the day. Come on, Gav, good. There it is, man. Drive through those heels. We got one minute to go, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see where they're gonna end up starting in round five, because they're not gonna have to stop in round five. They're gonna be ready to go, okay? Getting any advantage on one another is gonna be key to the start. There it is, they're neck and neck on these burpees. Gab picks it up first, a little heavier for him. Maurice is gonna move it faster. Nice, boom. Boom, good, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Right to it, Maurice, let's go. You got rest coming, guys. We got rest coming at home. Let's get these nine in, Gav. There it is, 20 seconds, come on. Yeah, we got an extra three burpees coming our way too, let's go. Yeah, that's it, Maurice, way to drop. We got 10 seconds, come on. Yeah, Gavin, nice job, man. In, five, three, two, one and rest oh yeah oh yeah that was awesome all right we got one round to go guys all right fifth and final round it's time to empty the tank all right um usually you guys will be joking about how there's nothing left but trust me there is all right let's keep grinding get this fifth round done and then we will be done with our conditioning portion of the day all right so let's finish strong uh pretty cool right now they're both at the same point in this workout so we'll see who ends up uh pushing just a little extra in this last round all right let's get after it guys probably got about 30 seconds let's do it all right we 
have 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, they're starting on the push press. Marisa's push presses have been faster so far today. And Gavin tends to move faster on the lunges. A little bit shorter levers for himself with his legs. Okay, that's why he's probably able to move that faster and use it a heavy bell. Good. You can see Gav's moving really fast on the lunges, but he's staying true to the movement. All right, he's, he's fully extending his hips. He's resetting every time. He's by no, no means cheating those reps. And he's bouncing up and down those burpees. That's it, Maurice. Same with Maurice. She's moving really fast on the push press, but it's, it's apparent she's locking out those elbows every time. All right? They're moving. Looking good. Yeah. They're at this point, it's just move. Two minutes of moving, guys. Something that Gavin's doing is as he's hopping his feet down, he's putting his hands on the floor. He's not putting his hands on the floor and then hopping back. That's something that can make him just slightly faster, okay? As you're hopping your feet back, your hands are falling to the floor. Here we go, guys. Here we go. That's it, Maurice. Keep pushing now. Come on, come on. We got 90 seconds. Let the legs, let the legs hurt and brace it. Push through. You're looking awesome. Nice, Gav. Let's go, Maurice. Come on, Maurice. Boom. Hop them back as you're putting them down. Boom, down. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Doing it. Doing it. We got one minute to go. They're right by side. Come on. Side by side. Yeah, Maurice. That's it, Gavin. Show them how we finished the last minute at home, guys. Let's go. That's it, Gav. Hell yeah, Maurice. Crushing it. Transition on point, Gav. Let's go. Thirty seconds to go. That dumb kettlebell. Let's go, Gav. Come on. Don't slow down now. Nice job, Maurice. Twenty seconds. Oh man, here we go. In ten. In five, three, two, one, time. <laughs> awesome job, guys. That was great stuff. Oh, that's a push right there. All right. They tied. They both got two on the right arm at the very end. That was sick. That was really cool to watch. Uh, that's how you got to push in these ones. When you're getting built in rest, all right, it's go time. All right, you guys crush that thing. Way to get after it. Um, right now, I just want you guys to catch your breath, all right, get some water, whatever you're drinking, um, and then just relax while I explain what we are going to be doing next, all right? Um, so if you want to pause me real fast, do that because I'm about to explain, all right? If not, stay with me, all right? So what we're going to be doing is 30 seconds at each movement, all right? The first movement is going to be a curl with your dumbbell or kettlebell, and I'll have these shuds, uh, studs show it when we get there but it'll be a, a curl for 30 seconds max reps just with one dumbbell if you have a barbell you can use that we'll show you how to use the kettlebell okay for 30 seconds from there we're going to go into a 30 second gun hold okay which is just holding the dumbbell in place and squeezing your bicep all right and then we'll finish with 30 seconds of overhead extensions okay That'll be 90 seconds of work. We'll then have 30 seconds of rest to relax the arms, and we're gonna repeat that for three rounds. So there's four stations, one of the stations being 30 seconds of rest, okay? So let's go over the curl. You guys okay to go? Yeah. All right, so I'll show Marisa first with the dumbbell. She's gonna have one hand on each head, okay? Elbows nice and tucked. 
brings the arms all the way down to full extension, and then curls. Good, rest, thank you, okay? Um, same thing for Gav, he's gonna have one hand on each head of the kettlebell, okay? Extends the arms at the bottom, squeezes at the top. Nice, rest, okay? The next movement will then be a gun hold. So you'll finish your 30 seconds of curls, and then you're pretty much gonna hold the dumbbell halfway. I want you to squeeze the bicep, so your forearm and bicep should be touching, all right, and relax. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna go into, he'll, he'll be doing the same thing with the bell, into 30 seconds of tricep overhead extensions. Um, Gavin's gonna use a band today. For those of you who have a band at home, check this out. Okay, you'll step into it, okay? You have one hand on uh, each end of the band. Okay, he'll do 15, yeah, sorry. He's gonna do a double hand, double, all right? So from here, elbows stay tucked, you extend at the top, working those triceps. Max reps. Okay, thank you, you can rest. Okay, and uh, Marisa will be doing with a dumbbell. You could also do this with a kettlebell. Nice view right there, a side by. You could see, okay, keeps her elbows nice and tucked, fully extends the elbows. Now, let's say the overextension hurts your lower back. You're gonna come to just a, a split stance really fast, okay? And do the same exact thing. This way you won't be overextending as much. It may help relieve some pain. Thank you. Um, Coach Gav, could you just show us uh, the kettlebell one really fast? Yep. Uh, it's pretty heavy, but I think, I think you'll manage. Yeah, use that guy. There you go. He's going to use this guy. That's a heavy bell. Um, so you're going to bring that bell to your shoulder, okay? And then you have both hands wrapped around. It's the same thing. You just fully extend at the top. Boom. Nice, slow, and controlled. Okay? Thank you, Gav. So let's get into this thing, guys. Once again, 30 seconds at each movement. We're starting with the bicep curl. All right. How many uh, We're gonna do three rounds. All right, guys, here we go. In five, three, two, one, and curls. Let's go. So technically right now, guys, we're going for max repetitions, all right? But uh, we're looking for quality over quantity today, okay? Quality over quantity. 15 seconds in, biceps are popping out. Tank top Tuesday, doing it right. We got 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one. You can shake out the arms real fast. We're gonna go into this gun hole in two, one. Come on, let's get into that gun hole. This is where the gains are made. Let's go, we're holding nice and tight. Okay, elbows should be in a nice line, okay? Forearm and elbow, making that L, okay? Squeeze your bicep. Gav's gotta shorten it up real fast, no big deal at all. Wow. 10 seconds. Yup, hold and squeeze, squeeze. In five, three, two, one. Good, all right, we're going into those tricep overhead extensions. Here we go, guys, right to it. Right to it. Good job, Gav. Fifteen seconds. Once again, elbows stay nice and tucked. We're working the back of your arm. That tricep, fully extend the arm at the top. In five, three, two, one. Rest. Good. You now have thirty seconds of rest. Um, this time around, guys, I'm going to give you guys just a five-second transition in between each movement, just so you have time to to move around and alternate to whatever you got to do to get to that next movement. All right, so uh, you got 15 seconds until round two. All right, guys, here we go. In five, three, two, one, begin. Okay, we're starting with those curls again, okay? Focus on squeezing your bicep. Try not to use your back. I don't want you rocking, okay? When you curl, keep everything nice and square. Squeeze and return. Yeah, Gav. So Maurice, good job. 10 seconds. In, five, three, two, one. Good, you have five seconds now. In three, two, one, hold. Good. Squeeze the bicep. Got 20 seconds, stay with me. OK, 
Okay, you should feel a burning sensation somewhere throughout your arm, most likely your bicep, maybe near your forearm as well. You got 10 seconds, good job. In five, three, two, one, good. Okay, in three, two, one, tricep overhead extension, let's go. Nice, Gab's giving us a side by view of this band. Okay, notice how his elbows drive forwards and slightly out. Okay, he gets that band nice and low and then extends. Looking good. Nice job, Maurice. 10 seconds. In five, three, two, one, rest. Nice. All right, you guys got a full 40 seconds actually because of the the built-in transitions, all right? So relax the arms. Coming up on your final round here, guys, all right? Let's get after it. Um, once we're done with this round, uh, don't leave me, okay? We're gonna go into a nice little cool down stretch as always, all right? So one final round, let's get after it. You have this 10 seconds and then the five second transition as well, so 15 total. Not yet. Okay, five more seconds in three, two, one, let's curl. We figured you're gonna be walking around with some tank tops that say Immortal Fitness. The biceps might, might as well be looking good while you're doing it. Got 15 more seconds to go. Come on. Good, come on. Yeah, they're feeling it. That's all right. In five, three, two, one. Relax. Nice job, guys. Gun hold in three, two, one. Hold in the gun. Very nice. Stay nice and tight. Focus on your breathing. You got 15 seconds. All right, in 10. You see Maurice has to do a quick little shake out, that's okay if you gotta do that at home. In three, two, one, nice. All right guys, we got final round coming up in three, two, one, let's go. Last 30 seconds of some triceps. Come on. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Stay standing. Okay, we're just gonna do a quick little cool down, guys. Um, first thing we're gonna do: grab your arm. I uh, take your hand. Grab your arm. Oh, switch good now we're gonna cross that left arm in front of us pull on that elbow into you good stretch for your shoulder Good switch. All right, guys, awesome job. Fast cool down stretch. You guys did a lot of work. Awesome work at home.